Your captor returns through the door, but the light is so dim you can barely make him out. Oh, I have dark vision. Yeah, same. I have dark Maybe. vision, too. Yeah, yeah dwarves I have dark, have dark vision, vision, too. too. <sighs> All right, so you all notice in the darkness that this hooded figure is roughly three feet tall, and despite their diminutive size, I don't have any dark vision. All of you but Cozy notice that he is roughly three Ooh, feet tall. What's going on? I heard the door open. Our captor has arrived. They're approximately three feet tall. Okay, thanks. I fucking hate you people. Anyway. <laughs> How unwise for you to fall into my clutches. Let it be known that I... He pulls back his hood to reveal green, warty skin, two long, pointed ears, and points at you, Grimleo. Eh? With a long, gnawed on fingernail. And it was I, the Goblin King, who brought down the, uh, uh, what do you call yourselves again? They call us the Ass Kickers. Nay, we are the Pinkertons. We never agreed to that. No matter. You have a traitor amongst so you. Sussy imposter. Shut Ow. the fuck up. How dare you. When he says the word traitor, his glare pins down on Grim Leo. Another goblin working for the enemy. How dare thee. Me, 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 I shall leave ye be, but until then, supper time. What did you two say? Me 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 me. You don't have to be in character right now. Just tell us what he said. You can only speak goblin, you jackass. After yelling for supper time, two little goblins in rags, stinking of rotten food, take small loaves of bread and shove one each into your mouths. Then they scurry out just as quickly. I spit my bread out. <sighs> okay. After you spit out your bread, you hear a little metal clang on the ground where your bread landed. And you can see that there is a little metal rod sticking out of the bread. <sighs> I don't spit mine out and I take a hard bite. All right, roll me a uh, d6. Why? Just do it. Uh. Four. You bite through the thin layer of dough and into a rock. So you take four damage. I slowly bite into my piece of bread. You also find a small chunk of metal in your bread. I try to bring my head up to where my hands are so I can grab the metal so I may pick the lock. All right, give me an athletics check and a uh, disabled device check. Alrighty. 17. And 19. All right, yeah, you pull yourself up and you can pick your lock. I start moving to free the others. Do I need to roll some more? After solving the lock the first time, you figure out how simple it is and you, you don't need to roll anymore. You can free everybody. Eh, I'll roll anyway. I need to warm up my dice. That's a one. You break your lock pick. This bread tastes amazing. What manner of recipe is this? There's rocks in yours, too. I'm a dwarf. It tastes just like Mama used to make. Oh, it's so delicious. <laughs> just like